Welcome back everyone. You may be having an issue with your PlayStation 4 or for some reason your console is just not updating. Now this can happen for a couple of different reasons this specific year, but it can happen for any year, same reason. What I would recommend doing first of all is to pretty much power off your PlayStation 4 and to actually go ahead and power cycle this console. So what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and pretty much power it off. You want to unplug pretty much everything from this specific console. And then what I would recommend doing is letting it sit there for a couple of minutes. What happens here is that sometimes the console just seems to kind of reset in and of itself. So what you want to do here, just let it sit there. And then you want to go ahead and plug everything back into that console. And you want to go ahead and see if it'll go ahead and update. Most of the time, this will probably end up fixing it for you. And you may not even have to do anything crazy here. Now, another big thing is that sometimes your PlayStation 4 may be trying to connect to the servers that Sony has, and maybe their Sony servers are actually down. So what you want to do here is you can make your way over to somewhere like, you know, Sony's support page, or you can go even to the comment section of this video. And if a lot of people are commenting at the same time saying that PlayStation Network is down or I can't update my PS4, then that may mean Sony has an issue and you may just have to wait until Sony actually pushes out an update to fix it. Most of the time you'd be surprised, most of the update issues that you may have may be going along these specific lines. So if you're you know, not able to update your console, you may want to go ahead and check that the servers aren't actually down and pretty much go on from there. Another thing to check is your internet connection. So if you're connected to Wi-Fi or through the ethernet port, you want to go ahead and make sure that your specific console is connected to a solid internet connection. So go ahead and check your internet connection. You may want to go ahead and try seeing if you can go on online, or check the PlayStation store. If you're able to you know, load those things up, then it may not be your internet connection. However, if you're not able to load up any of those things either, then you may actually want to go ahead and you know double check that if the servers aren't actually down because if they're not down and your internet connection is not having an issue well you may actually have to go and update your console via safe mode so to do this what you want to do is you want to turn the playstation 4 off completely you then want to go ahead and once the console is fully off you want to press and hold the power button on your playstation 4 until you hear two different beeps now when you hear the second beep you want to release the power button and once that happens you will see that your console will go ahead and boot into safe mode so what you have to do here is you want to go ahead and connect your controller to the console using that USB cable. And when you're in safe mode, you want to go and click on the third option that says update system software. Now, when you do that, you'll get into the panel where you can update your console and that may end up fixing it for you. Now, if that still doesn't fix it, you may want to contact Sony and have them take a look at your PS4 and have them troubleshoot it because it may be a bigger issue than just, you know, what I explained in this video. So that's pretty much it. If you guys have any other questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.